<laughs> so Acquire is a game in which players place tiles on a game board to build corporations and purchase stocks in those corporations. While two, when two corporations merge, the smaller is dissolved. Bonuses are awarded to the players with the two highest number of shares in the dissolved corporation called the majority and minority shareholders. And stocks in the dissolved corporation can be sold, traded, or retained because that company may start back up later on. The game ends one of two ways. When either one corporation has 41 tiles of these out here, all in one big group, or all the corporations are considered to be safe. And I'll go into the details on how these corporations become safe. And ultimately, player has the most cash wins the game. So cash is king. Here mm -hmm. we go. <laughs> all right, so what are you guys looking at here? Well, we have the main game board out here. We have the mystery bag of tiles. There is one tile for each of the numbered and lettered space out here on the board. Now, you'll notice that the ones are all on the left side, and then it go the A's down through I's. So it's alphabetically top to bottom, numerically left or right, one through 12. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So flip that and reverse it, but yes, whatever. Right. <laughs> <laughs> ones, letters. You, you match got the it. letters and the numbers. We know yeah. what you're Just, saying. Yeah, okay. we got it. <laughs> Seven and a half minutes. Let's go. All right. So what we're going to do is everybody's going to draw a tile and we're going to place it out here on the board to begin with. Those are going to be the starting tiles out there to begin with. Then we're all going to draw six tiles and keep them hidden. That's the only hidden information. Now, Sid Saxon intentionally left it ambiguous on whether or not money is open information and whether or not number of shares is open information. It's hidden trackable, so we're going to keep it all open information. Mm -hmm. The only thing that is not are your tiles, and those are going to be behind our screen so that we can keep them face up for everybody watching at home. So on a player's turn, they're going to do all of the following things. They're going to place one of their tiles onto the game board out here. And I'll talk about the details of that. That's probably the hardest part of this game, which it's not hard. The second thing that they may do is they can buy up to three shares of any floated or any started corporation. How do you know it started? Its corporation tile will be out there. And I'll go into the details of that in a little bit as well. Then, if they have any unplayable tiles, they discard them, and then draw tiles to return to the number of six tiles behind your screen here. Okay? The game ends when a player, during their turn, announces that all the corporations are safe or that one corporation has 41 or more tiles. Okay? Then that player finishes their turn. If you notice that that has happened and it is not advantageous for you to announce it, Keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. The game continues until somebody decides to open their mouth and say it, or in our case, the peanut gallery. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to uh, the majority and minority shareholders, meaning the top two shareholders here, will then get their bonus again at the end of the game. And then shares are going to be cashed in. Most money wins. Okay. So let's talk about tile placement. All right. If the place tile is orthogonally adjacent to a tile that is not part of a corporation or one or more corporations are free, the player takes one of the available corporation markers and places it on the tile of the new corporation. As the corporation's founder, the player earns a bonus stock. So what does this mean? All right, let's say this tile on my turn, I place it, 2C. I place that from behind here and I place it out there. It's orthogonally adjacent to one existing tile. A a, call it, these are individual hotels. They become a chain of hotels of that company. Once there are two orthogonally adjacent to one another, I start a company. So what do I say? I say, you know what? I'm going to start Imperial Hotels. I'm going to put the marker on top of one of those two to signify that that group of hotels is now the Imperial Hotels. I'm going to take one share of Imperial Hotels. And then after my turn, I can buy up to three shares of any other corporation that is already out on the board. All right. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, how much do you pay for these shares? Well, it's a good thing you ask. We have a handy dandy little player aid here. So there are a total of seven corporations in this game. 
Tower, Luxor, American, Worldwide, Festival, Imperial, and Continental. Well, I started Imperial, and you'll notice that if there are number of hotels in a chain on the board right there is two, the cost is $4. We're just, because we're using poker chips, we'll lop the last two zeros off. So it would cost me $4 per share. Notice for buying and selling, pretty simple. And if that's the only company that I can, that's out there on the board, I can spend $12 of my money, so 12 bucks to buy three more shares, and boom, there we go, that's my turn. I then would add, draw another tile from the one I placed, easy enough. Then on Jess's turn, let's say she decides she plays 3C. Well, that now went from a two tile to a four tile hotel. Mm -hmm. It is now all part of the Imperial Hotel. Jess did not found that company, so she doesn't get the bonus share, but now she can buy three shares of that company. Well, what's the cost? Well, you'll notice it's now four tiles, so it's going to cost $6 a piece. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. Easy enough? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Now, let's say on Chris's turn, he throws down 5A like so. Well, that's now two orthogonally adjacent tiles that are not connected to Imperial Hotels. So he can choose to start any of the other six companies that he wishes to start. Let's say he decides to start American Hotels. Boom, easy enough. He's the founder. He takes one share, and then he can buy three shares, any mix of American and Imperial, because those are the two shares that are on the board. Does that make sense? Makes mm -hmm. sense. All right, you're with me so far. Yep. Everything good. All right, I forgot to grab the other tile, so indulge me. Let's say this one is 3A. This one is 3A. That one is 3A. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So then, let's say on a subsequent turn, we're laying out tiles, da-da-da-da-da. Somebody places 3A. Again, let's say it's 3A. Maybe just turn it upside down. There you go. Yeah. That's 3A. There you go. <laughs> now we're going to have a merger when that happens, okay? It connected two or more corporations together. They merge. The largest corporation, i.e. The, the corporation with the most tiles, absorbs the corporation, the smaller corporation. If there are multiple, it's possible there can be a three-way merger. It goes largest to smallest, um, but we'll, we'll deal that with that when that happens. If the corporations are the same size, whoever placed the tile chooses which one gets absorbed. Okay? The corporation building marker for the smaller company is now defunct and goes away. Whoop. Boom. Like so. Okay? Then... The players, the player with the most stocks is, is the majority shareholder, and the player with the second most stocks is the minority shareholder. So we look at American. Let's just say there were five tiles for American right there. And we see here that the majority holder for first and whoever has second is $60 and $30 respectively. They get paid that from the bank. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, pretty easy. If you're third, Sorry, if you're tied for first or tied for second, as it were, add and divide, mm -hmm. okay? Then after that, oh, I guess I should also point out, if only one company has shares in that company, they get first day and second. Right. So first. they right, they get both. So in this case, if Chris were the only one, he would get 90 bucks, mm -hmm. okay? And if, again, if tied, add and divide. Then at that point... Starting with the mer player that triggered the merger, they have a decision on what to do with their shares. They can either hold them, meaning American might come back out here and be started, and if so, they already have some shares of that company. And if not, well, if it doesn't get started at the end of the game, it's worth nothing. Keep that in mind. Or they can sell the shares at market price as shown on the little player aid. So again, going back to this, Let's say it had, there were five shares, you would sell them for six bucks a piece. Any mix, if you want to hold some, you want to sell some, that's fine. Okay? Or you can trade them in. Trading them in, stock price does not matter. It's a two to one ratio. Two of the old defunct ones for one of the company that just ate it up. Mm -hmm. There you go. Then a corporation that has 11 or more tiles is now safe from mergers. It cannot be eaten up. So right now, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is still open or unsafe. Once it hits seven tiles, 
orthogonally oh. adjacent to one another. What 11, I said? 11, sorry. Once it hits 11, it can't be merged. Gay men's, when one company has 41 in its group or all seven are safe. And that's how you, and then we cash out our shares, majority and minority shareholders get paid, cash them out, whoever has most money wins. Boom, done, seven minutes, done. Close. Yeah, good enough, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Seven-ish. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right. Quick right. question. Quick answer. Uh, if, so when you're doing a decision about what to do with your shares, uh -huh. you have to pick one of the, you can't like split, like you can't sell some and. Uh, Two for one some, yeah. this and that. Or could you do a mixture of things? To the best of my knowledge, you can mix and match. You can, okay. Um, I'm sure somebody in the peanut gallery might be able to correct that if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure you can mix and match. But um, yeah, you can mo choose more than one option, I'm okay. pretty sure. Yeah, it says, and players yeah. can choose more right. than one option. Okay. So you can you hold, go. sell, or trade in any combination of those.